Hello and welcome to a uh, quick build. It's a quickish video, and this one is of the Matchbox Trojan van. And the one I've got, I bought in an eBay lot, you'll be able to see it any second. And here it is on, on the turntable. Surprisingly, it had been in the sea for quite a bit. It was found on a beach. And surprisingly, it kept most of its paint and its decals. I'm presuming it must have been bought for a child as a seaside gift and it was promptly lost on the beach. The, probably the first day they got it, so we know paint loss. I'm presuming it furred up pretty well. Because the actual wheels that were exposed metal were rotten. I got it in a job lot, and every car on here, bar the Matchbox Trojan van, were too far gone to restore. Quite possibly the blue dinky van may be restored, but I don't know. I'm out on that one that has quite a lot of rot on it. And if when I strip the paint it's as bad as this one turned out, it's probably not going to get a go. Here we're in caustic soda, and it loosened up all the salt, the sand, and... It took the paint off, it basically cleaned up everything. So if you have one that's been buried in the garden, or indeed on the beach, a good go in the caustic soda will get rid of most of the stuff. And here I'm just drilling the rivet so I can split the base off. And here comes the base coming off. Um, we're not going to be saving the wheels, so the wheels are going to just get ground off. I'm not bothered about damaging them, because they're not going to be used. I'm going to actually do a custom, so these wheels are getting bent. It was that far gone with rock, as you see in this. It was so pity they had lost some of the detail. And it needed major filling. So I thought there's no way I'm restoring it to original. I'll find a better example for that. This one's just a bit of a play. So here. I've got a grinder out and I also use the sandpaper sanding drum. And what I'm doing, I'm increasing the wheel arch size to take custom wheels. And there we go. Blub, 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 blub. And what I'm doing here. I'm using some acrylic nail powder and really we are in sight I wouldn't have used this, it's good for a lot of things I'm building on but I've had, I'd have used my second product that I'm sanding here this one's on brown model filler that's in it here I'm smoothing it off there. I've, I've primed and filled and primed and filled and primed and filled. There was just so much to do. And I'm filing here. To be honest, I think it's more filling products than the original casting. And what I'm doing here, I'm putting on some white primer again. And at this point, I've put silver on. I've put a silver undercoat, and I'm putting a yellowy 
is Tequila Yellow to give me a gold finish. So I could spray on Blood Red. And it's been a practice, really, for making Matchbox Metallic Reds that they used in the super fast range, which is quite a successful test because they used the gold gold undercoat under the candy candy red to give a really luxurious candy red colour and I've done the decals and here I'm painting on the silver grill and silver headlights and here I'm screwing the unit back together I didn't bother repainting the base black. Anyway, here's where we started off. A barnacle encrusted van. Well, not quite barnacle, but it's not bloody far off. It's a salt encrusted van that was buried on the beach. And. It's a lovely little van, I like the van, but I think I'll get a better quality one to restore to original. But this has been a fun custom, a fun little build. And there we go. It's very sparkly. Paint job was basically white primer, silver base colour, gold over the well, not gold, it was tequila yellow uh, candy. Then to stop bleed through, I put over a no, I didn't, I just left it as that and spread the Createx Blood Red candy off the top and that's basically where we are with a straight I mean it's a bit battered this so it doesn't the paint job doesn't present itself at its best if that paint job was on a straight casting the dad not needed all the work and all the filling it would have been outstanding anyway thank you for watching if you've enjoyed please subscribe please give us a thumbs up even better ring the bell for notifications and I hope you're all keeping well and I'll see you in my next video bye for now and take care Tatsy pie everyone.